took 72 guys to West Virginia, and I think 44 of those guys were in their first or second year with us, and there were eight true freshmen. And um, you really look at the healthy contributions of guys. Um, I think every goal of every program and every player is really kind of starting your junior and senior year to really start seeing some playing time. And I look at Keenan, and he's a guy that's labored and, and worked hard and played a subservient role, and, but continues to learn and continues to be tough and works. And, and you know, he's just doing a great job that way. And so, you know, work and effort and passion over time always, play, always pays results. And sometimes guys don't always see that. They want that in the first year, the six months, or two years, or whatever. And, you know, the reality is, uh, you know, we've got some guys playing in the National Football League that really weren't significant guys until they were juniors or seniors. Both our O and D line, we don't, we don't have a senior. We don't have a senior really playing in the two deep in our O and D line. That's, I mean, but here's Bryce, he's, he's a freshman. I think, uh, obviously, we had some better plays last week. Obviously, uh, you know, Rodney, you know, did a nice job on his touchdown run. And I think, again, just that continuity and, and guys fitting it the right way uh, offensively as well helps. So got to get all those guys on the same page and, and get a little confidence, get a little continuity in there. Down. I mean, ultimately, at the end of the day, uh, it's about your own self-efficacy and being able to, to get your A game on, regardless of who you play and where you play or what the situation is. And, um, you know, whether you're favored or not favored, you better have a healthy respect for the other team and yourself and understand the variables that go into it. I mean, I just think that's what all great coaches and all great players and all great teams, I think, aspire to do.